Hello everyone, Dr. Rupa here, and today we're going to be talking about the new eye drop viewity that you might have heard about that's supposed to get rid of your reading glasses. So if you're interested in finding out if this is for real or it's just a lot of hype, keep watching. Welcome everyone. In case you don't know and you're new to the channel, I am Rupa Wong. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, kids' eyes, since I specialize in pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus. But that doesn't mean I don't know a thing or two about adult eyes as well, since I trained in them first. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that's actually near and dear to my heart because <clears throat> I am 45 and I do wear reading glasses, yes. So, first-hand experience with needing reading glasses and how annoying this is. So this is a game changer. So the Viewity eye drops, they were FDA approved October, 2021. They just hit the market and the ads are all over the place saying they're going to help you get rid of your need for reading glasses. So first, why do people over 40 need these annoying things in the first place? Well, it's because of something called presbyopia. And what happens as you age, unfortunately, just like everything, lots of things lose elasticity. Your face, <laughs> you know, your body, and the natural lens of your eye. So when you are younger, the lens can change shape so that it can focus and accommodate. So you can focus on a wide range of distances. As you get older, the lens loses that ability to change shape. And so that's called presbyopia it's inevitable. Really, you just there's nothing you can do about it. It's just a matter of age. Now, some people that are a little bit nearsighted, they might be able to get away without needing reading glasses initially because they just take their glasses off. But ultimately, by about 45 or 50, pretty much everyone needs some glasses to read those prescription pill bottles or your phone, or you got to go up really, really high on the text size on your phone. Yes, like I said, it's inevitable. So what does Viewity do? It's actually a drop that's been around for a really long time called pilocarpine. And the strength that they're using is pilocarpine 1.25%. And what it does is it makes your pupil smaller. And by making your pupil smaller, you're diminishing the peripheral light rays and enhancing the vision. It's called the pinhole effect. Remember when you go to the eye doctor and we give you that little thing and we ask you to look through the pinholes and it makes the vision clearer? That's basically what the eye drop is doing. It's making your pupils really small, so it's like a pinhole and focusing the light better on the retina. The nice thing about this drop is that it does not affect your distance vision. So unlike reading glasses, when you put your reading glasses on, if you try to look up in the distance, it's usually blurry. And so you see a lot of people doing this. I know it's an extremely attractive look, right? So. The drop does not blur your distance vision. So is this a new thing that they just discovered? Actually not. As I mentioned, pilocarpine has been a drop that's been around for a long time. Actually, it's been used to treat glaucoma since the 1800s, which is pretty crazy. It's a cholinergic agonist, so it binds to the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. And by doing so, then it can have an effect on pupil size. But initially, the reason that we all used to use this drop is that it binds to the receptors on the trabecular meshwork. And so by binding to that, it can decrease the amount of fluid that is made in your eye, which is what causes glaucoma, therefore lowering the eye pressure in your eye and treating glaucoma. So why don't we use this eye drop anymore? Well, the main reason is in about the 1970s, they found that there were a lot of side effects to being on pilocarpine. So for glaucoma, people were on strengths varying from two to 4%. I even have a patient that is still on pilocarpine in my practice to treat her glaucoma. She absolutely refuses to get off of it. I have informed her of the side effects, which we're gonna talk about soon. And she understands them, she accepts them, but she loves the vision from them. She loves that she can read. I mean, so she knew about this effect for a long time, as did a lot of people. Typically for glaucoma, they start with the 1% and then they titrate up to the two to 4% and you're using it two to four times a day. Now the Viewity eye drop, you're only using it once a day and it is the lower strength. It's the 1.25%. 
So some of the side effects of pilocarpine that I'm going to be talking about are more associated with the increased dosage strength and the increased frequency and not the viewity itself. But let's look at the studies and see if this stuff actually works. So Viewity got FDA approval by having two phase three 30 day trials. They looked at 750 people ages 40 to 55. So me at 45, like I'm in their sweet spot. They're exactly looking at people like me. They are not looking at people that are older, like 60s, 70s. It's not going to be as effective for the older people who need reading glasses. It's more for the moderate presbyopia. Again, me. So in the study they looked at, they asked people to either put in a drop of the Vuity or a drop of the placebo in each eye every single day. And then they only looked at them for 30 days. So their endpoint was to see if patients improved by three lines of reading vision. So on a near card reading, the 2020 is J1 plus, and if they improved three lines. It doesn't mean that they necessarily read the smallest line, but that they at least got three lines better. So it could have been from the J6 to the J3 or from the J5 to the J2. And they also looked at making sure that people did not lose more than a line of distance vision because they didn't want the distance vision compromised because you're on a drop that's going to help your reading vision. So the two studies were called Gemini 1 and Gemini 2. So in Gemini 1, 31% of the people experienced a three-line improvement in near vision compared to 8% who are on the placebo. So it's not 100% of the people, it's about 31%, little, little bit under a third of the people noticed three lines of improvement, which is a significant improvement. In Gemini 2, it was slightly less. They had 26% of the people experienced three lines of improvement compared to 11% who are on the placebo. And all of these percentages were statistically significant, meaning sometimes you just average numbers and it's not statistically significant, but these differences were statistically significant. So the people that were on the Vuity drop really did read better than the people that were not on the drop, that were on the placebo. So it's not going to help every single person that tries it. It's gonna help probably about a quarter to a third, but that might be worth it for you because if you're like me, I've got these glasses all over the house. I ask my kids to bring them to me. They shove stuff in my face and I can't read it. It's really, really annoying. So if there's a 30% chance that you can read a couple of lines better, that might be worth it. It takes about 15 minutes for the drop to take effect and the effect lasts about six hours. Now, let's look at the side effects. So about 14.9%, almost 15% of people that took the drop had headaches. And that's something that we had seen with the original pilocarpine that we used for glaucoma. Headaches or brow ache was quite common. So that happened in about 15% of patients compared to 7% of the placebo. And then up to 5% also had other symptoms like blurred vision, irritation, red eyes, a decrease in vision. 5% had those kinds of symptoms. What are the other potential side effects of pilocarpine? So the reason that many ophthalmologists stopped using it as a glaucoma drop, and again, this is with a stronger dosage and stronger strength, was because of the headaches, the fact that also it's been linked with causing retinal detachments. And that's thought to be secondary to the fact that the drop might somehow cause a spasming of the ciliary muscle. But when I looked at the studies of the patients that had retinal detachments, it most typically was in someone who was already nearsighted or had some kind of retinal issue. It was really rare to occur in people that had no underlying problems with their retina or weren't really nearsighted. So, because when you're really nearsighted, you're kind of at an increased risk already of having a retinal detachment. So pilocarpine was just exacerbating that. It also makes it really hard to see in the dark. So if you decide to take Vuity, if this is even on their package insert, you wanna be careful about operating heavy machinery, driving at nighttime. Just wanna be mindful of those kind of things. If, it, if you feel like that's affecting your vision, then you obviously do not want to take it before you start driving. We also stopped using pilocarpine as a glaucoma drop because there are just better alternatives now to glaucoma medication. And when you make your pupils really, really small, then it makes cataract surgery, which is down the road. You know, again, that's in the 60s, 70s age it can make cataract surgery more challenging. So 
that's a thought again for the viewity drop is more geared towards people that are ages 40 to 55 so typically those patients aren't getting if you're that age you're not really getting cataract surgery that cataract surgery tends to be more in 65 to 80 year olds right and i'll tell you just from my personal history so take a look at my pupils can you see my pupils they are small my pupils are are pinpoint already and i know that i've been able to get away for many years without needing reading glasses because I depend on the fact that my pupil size is really small. When it's really dark, what happens to your pupil is that typically for everyone, your pupils get larger. So I have a hard time reading in the dark without reading glasses. Um, so that's kind of the effect behind the pinhole effect and behind how the viewity works. Another side effect is inflammation of the iris or iritis, which is a possibility. And then of course, there's always the chance of having systemic side effects from pilocarpine. So systemic symptoms include chest tightness, a fast heartbeat, diarrhea, joint pain, redness, swelling, trouble breathing. I mean, again, that's usually systemic means like if you're ingesting it orally, which I hope you're not, and you're putting it in your eyes, but sometimes drops do get absorbed into your body. So if you're really worried about that, if you're on the viewity drops or you'd like to try them, you can do something called punctal occlusion, which means you put a drop in and then you can either just take your finger or you can take a Q-tip and you push right in the inner corner and that prevents the drop from getting absorbed uh, systemically and it just kind of stays right there in the eye, which is where you want it. So there you go, viewity eye drops, probably about a 25 to 35% chance that it might be effective for you and get you three lines better. It takes just 15 minutes for you to see an effect and should last about six hours without affecting your distance vision, but might come with some side effects. They haven't shown any of those horrible side effects like retinal detachments, the most common ones in the FDA trials of this particular drop were headaches, uh, red eyes, irritation, decreased night vision, that kind of thing. But just be mindful that retinal detachment might be a possibility as well as iritis. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I am going to try to get my hands on a bottle. It's so new that, of course, living in Hawaii, we get everything last. So I have to try to get my pharmacy to special order it. And oh, cost. It is $79 for a one month supply and medical insurance and vision insurance do not cover it. So you should know how much it is. And I kind of didn't want to spend $80 on it. I'm a little bit cheap. So I didn't want to buy a bottle, which is what the rep told me to do because I just don't know if I want to use it all the time, given some of the side effects and the fact that I have headaches and migraines. So I'm going to try to get my hands on a small little bottle of it, see if I can get a sample of it and not pay the $80. And if so, then I will try it on here as well, since I am probably one of the only ophthalmologists, eye doctors on here that is of the appropriate age. I think everybody else is a lot younger than me on YouTube. So I'll try it and I will let you know, we'll try it on camera and see. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I am happy to answer them. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.